we have this truck from Comine. I got this from Banggood, but you can also find this on Amazon as uh, Vocadu. So I'll put a link to both of those websites, Banggood and Amazon. I'll put a link down in the description below. But this is a nice looking tanker truck here. It does have quite a few different model numbers. This is the GM 1904. But as you can see, there's quite a few different styles here. We have three different types of tanker trucks. Well, it's the same truck, just three different designs. And then we also have three different designs of the box trailer. So let's... So here it is. Not much, uh, I guess, articulation, if you want to call it that. For the truck and the trailer so it's not like you can really kind of jackknife it or anything uh, this trailer is supposed to detach from the truck so we will have to figure out how that that works but let's open this box up see what's in here because I really have no idea so in this box it looks like you just get a USB charger. Don't see any instructions anywhere. I don't see anything. There's nothing else in the box. Here we have the transmitter. It's just buttons for forward, backwards, left, and right. And then here's your on and off switch. It does not include a screwdriver to open up the controller. So you will have to find one yourself and it takes two AA batteries. So yeah, not, not a whole lot comes in the box. You just get the controller, a USB charger and the truck. That's it. Uh, so you don't even get instructions. So I'm going to try and figure out, hopefully I don't break it, but like I said, they do claim that this truck and trailer do detach. So, Does it just, does it just snap off or? Oh, there it is. Okay, so there it is. The truck and trailer does detach. So this is just two wheel drive right here. You can see where the motor is. And then you have your trim right here and you have your on and off switch right here. I'm curious as to what battery is included. So, okay, so there's the battery, and it is 4.8 volt, 700 milliamp hour battery. So I'm gonna charge this battery up, I'm gonna put the truck back together, and then this truck is ready to run. Comine uh, tractor trailer. I forget the model number actually. When I ordered it, I didn't, it didn't have a model number. I just picked which style I wanted. But anyway, like I mentioned, this trailer comes off. You have to pull on it pretty hard to get it to come off. But you can take the trailer off and you can drive around without the trailer. So we're gonna do that. I charged the battery up. So here is the on off switch. And then we have the on off switch on the controller and it is non-proportional but it turns pretty quick there. Let's run it around here on the ground without the trailer. See how fast it is. Oh, it's kind of quick. <laughs> does bounce around because, well, there is no suspension on this at all. And it has hard rubber tires, so it is not forgiving. Looks like the trim is off a little bit, which you can adjust the trim. I guess that's as good as it's gonna get. 
let's put this trailer on here and to put it on all you gotta do is just press down until you hear it click well, the trailer doesn't really slow it down too much doesn't look pretty neat It has a tighter turn than I thought it would. Let's run it under these picnic benches here. See if we can weave through the picnic benches. There we go. Some nice weave going here. Oh, I kind of clipped that bench there. <laughs> Okay, nice. Other than the trim being off, this thing doesn't handle too bad. It, it drives pretty nice. I thought it'd be a little hard to drive being that it's non-proportional, but it seems to be doing okay. Oh, I lost sight of it. Where are we at here? There we are. See you with the next Ready to Run RC.